this one. This is Sol 959 Mass Left. I've got the enhanced version at the top here and the raw version at the bottom. So you can see how the images come from NASA, which are really pale and yellow and overexposed like this, right? And it's difficult to see stuff with this yellow filter on, which is, I'm sure, why they do it, right? But all you have to do is get the images, colour correct it a bit, add loads of contrast, and this is what you get, right? You get a nice, well-defined, detailed image. And on the right of the image here, there's this thing. Now, I found this a few days back, and... Uh, Initially, I looked and I thought, that's weird. And I, it, I didn't twig straight away. And I came back to it a few days later. And I was like, hang on a minute. It's a door. We have a warped rectangular object, right? With a window and a handle. It's got a handle on it. And it wasn't until I spotted this rectangular handle that I realised what I was looking at. Let me show you with the magnifier here. There's the porthole or window there. And just below that here is a rectangular handle. Right? Just there. You can see it quite clearly. And it even shows quite well in the raw image at the bottom here. Right? You can see that handle. You zoom in for you. Let's get a bit closer. There's the handle, rectangular. And there's the, the window. Now, if this is a door, it's not a, a normal door. I would say this is a bulkhead door or something similar from an armoured structure, i.e. a bunker or a ship or something like that, right? Why do I think that? This is really thick. It's around two feet wide. It seems bigger than that. It may be three feet, right? But it's around two to three feet in length, I would say, right? And it's very thick. Look how thick this is here. This is like super thick. And you can actually see this part here seems to be a handle just here attached to this part, which is like the edge of the door, or hatch. And we have what would have been a porthole or window in the door, just here, and there's something inside the window. There's no glass in it. It's like a porthole. And just here, if you look really carefully, I'll go back a bit, if you look really carefully, there's an object just inside the hole here, which is like a window. I'll show you with the magnifier, right? Now, look at this. we got this, what would have been quite a symmetrical shaped window, but it's eroded here. You can see it's eroded. This edge is kind of curved and warped. Now, the whole thing is warped, and it looks like it's been superheated, perhaps, and warped in some kind of explosion, perhaps, right? There's the handle there, but look inside this hole here, and we have an object with an ovoid shape and something like a Y and a T. You have a Y shape here and a T shape here. Now, they're not very clear, right, until you add more contrast to the image. And I've got some clips for you here, which I'm just going to show you. And if you look at this here, I'll try and centre it for you. We have this thing inside the window. All right? And you can see like a T-shape just here. Now, it's not very clear. So what I'm going to do, I've got, a, I've got that clip here, right? I'm going to really darken this up for you, and we'll see what we can find in this object, what detail we can find. Now, the thing with these, if you get too close to them, it doesn't work, right? We're already zoomed in. If you zoom in too far, I see a lot of people doing this, they over-zoom and they clip things too small. The thing to do is to stay back a little bit and just add contrast. It won't get any sharper, but you will see some detail appearing in this object, right? 
There we are. Now, now you can start to see this letter T shaped thing. Now, it may not, I'm not saying it's a letter T, I'm just using that as a comparison. It's actually like a little emblem of some sort, it seems, from this angle. Right, there it is, just there. Let's go again. There it is again, look. Now you can see there's a something next to it, like a line coming down here, and something to the right of it, just here, which looks very strange, right? We've got a, an oddly shaped object, like a pentagonal shaped thing, just there. One, two, three, four, five. There's got five sides to it. Now, this doesn't make any sense to me. I can't work out what this is. And the thing to do whenever you get something that doesn't make sense, first of all, once you've enhanced it, flip it to negative and see if it makes any more sense. And it still doesn't quite work. It, the image doesn't quite work, right? You can't really see what's going on. So what I did, I did a whole bunch of clips and I flipped it round. Now, that's another good trick. If you have an artificial object, it should look, it still look artificial, whether it's flipped right or left or upside down. It should still look artificial in all aspects. Here is the raw image. Concentrate on the center of the image. There's the handle. You can see it even in the raw image there. You can see it's rectangular and you can see this thing here, but not very clearly. Enhanced color and added contrast. Right? And again, a lot more contrast added. Now you can see this thing. And there seems to be like a, a funny shaped object here as well. So there's two, it may be two objects. There it is again. There's the overall clip rule, okay? Now you can just about, if you, if you focus really carefully, you can just about make out that emblem there. Whatever it is, with like a Y shape, just there. Now, this helps, obviously, if you're on a bigger screen like me. Now, here is a clip of that window flipped round to the left. So we've rotated it left 90 degrees. And you can see, actually, now, this now looks completely different. And we're not seeing an emblem at all, right? What we're seeing now is this weird-shaped object here, which is kind of pentagonal or hexagonal-shaped, just here. Right? It almost looks like a mask or a head or something. It's very strange. Now, this is another close up of the handle here. Let's check out the handle. There's a negative of it. You can see that it's actually a handle. Right? Just on like a little hinge thing here. Right, there's the overall clip again. This is a, um, a nice colour clip. This is enhanced colour, obviously. And you can see what this is. Now, just because it's warped doesn't mean it's not a door. Not all doors are necessarily completely symmetrical, especially if they've been lying on the surface of Jezero Crater for many thousands of years and were possibly in a massive explosion which ripped apart the structure this was attached to, either a ship or a bunker or some kind of building, who knows. But one thing is for sure, this is not a rock. Rocks do not have rectangular handles like this, right? With a, like a window with an object inside it, right? They simply do not. And anyone who says they do is pulling your leg and has an ulterior motive, right? Right, there's the, there's the uh, handle again. I've got all these different clips. I'll flick through these again. Now, you can see how rectangular this handle is, even at this angle when it's been flipped round, okay? You can see it. You can actually see the, the rectangular part here, right? But what's this in this hole? It, I, I can't make it out. Maybe some of you guys out there might be able to work out what it is. I can't quite work it out, but it's interesting. And just because we don't know what it is doesn't mean it's not artificial, right? But this is obviously an artificial object. It's very thick. It looks like an armoured door. Look how thick this is. This is like 
it's probably like five or six inches thick at, at this end here. And imagine the whole thing is, right? That's not, no, that's not a normal door. It's not just a door that you would get on your house. This is, this is serious stuff here. This is a bunker door or a bulkhead door or something like that. It's insane. Now, I know it looks like stone, but I don't think it is. I think this is made of some kind of alloy or metal. I'm going to go in close. It's quite reflective. I mean, I, I haven't cranked up the brightness on this, but it's, it looks like corroded metal of some sort. I don't know what sort. And, of course, it's got this yellowy-brown tone to it because it's covered in Mars dust, right? Like everything else is. It's got a, a nice layer of dust over it. Which makes it look like rock okay so there we are that was it really um, what else could it be apart from a door the only question is really what did it come from what was it attached to absolutely insane so those people that were saying the doorway that I showed months and months back isn't real this one here a lot of people on YouTube also published this after I did this was found by John Ward John Ward from South Africa a great researcher and uh, he named it the doorway and it looks like a doorway and it probably is I actually think it's more likely because this is only about a foot tall from here to here it's about 13 inches, right, maybe 14. Um, I actually think it's an air duct, like a ventilation shaft, maybe, right? And probably goes right down. This is in a different crater. This is on Mount Sharp, at the base of Mount Sharp. And I've been saying for many years that Mount Sharp is hollow, and there's probably, there may be people living inside it. There'd be fresh water inside there, right? It'll probably limit the supply of fresh water inside the mountain and I think there are probably people living inside it and this may be an actual air vent or some sort of ventilation shaft okay it's a bit too small to be a door but this one we're looking at today is a lot bigger this is at least two feet across or, or long maybe three there's no doubt in my mind whatsoever that this is artificial absolutely none whatsoever um, I'll just point that out to you, look, I'll, I'll do it on here, there it is, look, there you can see a handle there with an inner part here, and if you look closely, it's a bit warped like everything else is on here, if you look closely there seems to be like a little bolt just there, like a little round thing, so this would probably pull out and, and is hinged, like a hinge, okay? To all those people who said this was just a crack in the rock, why the hell, if it's just a crack in the rock, did you publish it? Why did you make a video about it and then say it was just a crack, right? Why did you publish it in your newspaper and just say it was a crack, even though you published it, calling it a door? Why would you do that? What are you doing? What are the mainstream media doing in this screwed up world we live in? They lie after lie after lie about everything, right? And this is just another thing, another one thing in a long list of things they've lied about that I've published and that other people have published, right? They lie every time. They show you one thing and tell you another. They tell you one thing and show you another. Total BS, right? This goes for a lot of channels out there as well who just came along and they thought, oh, look, that's going viral. I'll make a video about it. But I'm going to slack it off and I'm going to call it a crack. Why? Because some idiot in the mainstream media called it a crack. And some guy from NASA said, oh, it's just a crack. Who are these people? Right? They are talking out of the crack of our ass. Right? And this door that I'm showing you today proves it. Because it's got a freaking handle on it. And it's got a freaking window on it. Right? And a hinge 
part to it here in the handle. And this probably was part of the hinge here, this big clump that it's attached to was where it was attached to the doorway. All right, and it's about two to three feet long. A lot bigger than that doorway I just showed you. And I would, it could even be a doorway that goes down into the ground, right? Who knows, like a bunker, underground bunker. Who knows? We don't. The only crack that I'm showing here is the crack in their lies, the crack in their story. I expose the crack in their story. The official narrative is full of holes, and this will punch another hole right through the middle of it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.